All right, today I want to talk about localization, how the robot can localize itself in the environment, how the robot know where he is in this environment. Localization is very important for autonomous vehicle and autonomous robots. So today I mentioned one of the popular algorithms of localization is the Monte Carlo localization, MCL. Mm, some people call it the particle filters algorithm. So it's the same. So how the MCL apply for mobile robot? As the previous videos I already mentioned about the common filter, the standard common filter, right? And we already know how the extended common filter estimate the both of robot, right? So why we need the MCL in this problem? Because MCL has some more have more advantage than the extended common filter. For example, implementation. Implementation, right? MCL is easier than the extended common filter. How about the measurement noise? We all we, we know the Gaussian the important thing in the EKF, right? Or linear Motion linear measurement is very important, you can, but in the MCL, <coughs> you don't need that. You can estimate, and you can estimate any state of the distribution. How about the memory and resolution control? In MCL, you can control by adjusting the number of particles, okay, to estimate the uh, to estimate the robot pose, okay. Here's a list of advantages between the MCL and aesthetic common filter. In generally, we have two important things. Uh, MCL different from other localization algorithms. The first one, remember, MCL use particles to localize the robot poles. The MCL can approximate the any state space distribution. So go back to this problem. How robot localize in this room? How we know where he is in this room? In is in the robot, they always had a computer on board and had a sensor to send environment. For example, the laser rain sensor, they measure distance from the object to the robot, right? And not only that, we have, in the robot, they had the coordinate system for each robot, right? And also they had the position respect to the coordinate, global coordinate system right here, S global and Y global. So we had three parameters for robot, the S robot, Y robot, and orientation robot. How the MCL apply for this problem? MCL will generate randomly and uniform particles entirely environment. Okay, All right. I say again. The MCL will generate randomly and uniform particles entirely all the environment. So its particles they have the S coordinate, Y coordinate, and orientation. Particle right here is not physical particle; it's a virtual particles. Right here, you see the its particle they have the S particle, Y particle, and orientation particle. It's the same as the robot, okay? MCL will put the weight in its particle right here, in its particle, Y. The weight here is the difference between the actual robot's pose and the estimation robot's pose of the particle, the differences, okay? So right now, it's particle, they have S, Y, orientation, and weight, okay? And the weight for each particle is differently after its uh, resembling process. For example, right here, we have the weight for a small particle here, 0.09, right here, we have 1.8. It's bigger than small one. The larger weight, it means the higher Accuracy. Not only that, it's a higher probability of survive after resembling noise process. Right here, the weight is bigger than small particle right here, so it's a high probability of 
survival of this particle after resembling resembling process. Okay, the bigger weight, it means the higher accuracy. Okay. <clears throat> so after several resembling process, it, mean, it means after many after several the iterations, we have the small one will die, and they only have the bigger one, the high probability of the particle, okay, we survive, and the small one will die after several iterations. So right here, after several iterations and resampling process happen, the larger one will survive, and the smaller one will disappear, will die. And the right here is, is the higher the high accuracy of the estimate of the both robot will converge and they have to localize the position of robots. Okay? Remember, the first time we generate a lot of the particles with different ways uh, right here. <clears throat> we generate a lot of the particles with S Y and particle right here. So and we add the weights into each particle, okay? And after several iterations, resemble process happen, and this the particle has a small weight, it means small probability of survival will die. Only the particle has a higher weight and higher probability will survive, right here, after several uh, iterations. And they show us, help us to localize the robot. All these particles will converge, okay? And they localize the position of robot right here. Okay, that's the MC well, MCL help us. So the, <clears throat> about the map right here? The MCL is the Bayer's uh, probability. The Bayer's filtering is estimated probability Density of a state space condition on the measurement, right? You remember? I, I hope you remember this one. Okay, uh, probability of the both robot if we know the measurement right here. <coughs> right here is the small example with robots. It looks like inside the hallway, which had three door, and the robot robots doesn't know where where is is look like uh, look. Um, uh, local tape in this hallway. So, what is has sensor on board can tell is okay. So, the mobile robots now moving in the 1D hallway and collect uh, odometry and perception data. So, with the odometry data, the robots is keeping track of its current position. Whereas, the perception data, the robots is identifying the presence of the doors. <clears throat> so, how about the MCB algorithms in the C++ code world? So, the algorithms like this. They have two loops right here. The first one, they will uh, generate the weight, updates the motion, and the sensor update. And the second one is resembling the process, okay? It means the higher probability will of the particle will survive and the smaller one will die in this slope, okay? So right here, you have the algorithm of the MCO. What the S right here? S means probability of previous states, right? UT right here is actuation command and Z right here is, is the measurement, sensor measurement. We have the SD right here. Initial initial value is equal to zero, right? After that, we run the follow up. The num we run the number of particle and we update the motion for each particle, and then we add the weights. Uh, we add the weight to uh, to each particle, okay? After that, we leave the belief, okay? The current state, okay? Uh, the second lab right here we run from all the particles and we will uh, uh, we will uh, get the particle have the high probability okay and after that we return the belief of the current state 
<coughs> right here, you see, it's t, um, uh, t minus 1 is the previous belief, and ut actuation command, and yet zt means sensor measurements. <coughs> this one is the process uh, sampling process, okay? Remember, they had to look. The first one, they try generating the uh, particle, they calculate the <coughs> Um, motion update and the sensor update right here and they will ask uh, into the belief right and after that they resampling the particles and they get the higher property of the particle and right another one will be die right and this uh, process will repeat again and again okay so generally, we have the first step, uh, previous belief, the second step, motion update, third step, measurement update, and fourth step, resembling, and for last step is uh, gen uh, return a new belief, okay? If, for example, we have the robot right here, they move along the hallway right here, up and down. At the time t equal 1, we generate the number of particles randomly and uniform, right? At the time t equal two, okay, when they send the, the door, okay, when they send the doors, so the particle right here is different. Uh, the number of particle is constant, but right here, the assessing the um, the waste, okay, the assessing the way differently, right? Um, at time equal three, we have the uh, the number of the particle right here is zip to the right, and time equal four we have when they send the door, the the waste right here is different. Time equal five, what happened? They go down to the hall and they and so uh, zip the number of particle on the right, and they try to send the door and generate. A new way, okay, after a uh, resampling process. So, in the simple blood code, we have to do is this assemble. For example, we have the map right here 100 meters and 100 meters. We have the eight landmarks right here, and robots right here can turn left, turn right, go straight, okay. Then, so have the sensor to measure distance from robot to eight landmarks, okay. How we apply the particle filters algorithm right here to know where robots look like in this map? That's the problem we continue for next uh, video in C++ code. So, summarize the problem we in the ACL algorithm, we have the motion and sensing, right? We have the noise, we have the particle filters, we have the important weight, we have a resample blink process, and we calculate the errors. And after that, the last one, we grabbing for this example. Okay, see you next video.